Medical lab workers say the Ministry of Health's assumptions about lab capacity during the Omicron peak amounted to misinformation. The comments follow a review which found there were deficiencies in the Ministry's planning which led to a massive backlog of tests. Investigations reporter Michael Mora has the story. Images from inside our labs, thousands of COVID specimens piled up for processing. Lab scientists knew they'd be overwhelmed as Omicron took hold. Politicians thought otherwise. It was 100% predictable. We'd actually been warning since early January that um, our lab capacity and what was the figures that were being trumped around just simply weren't there. Those figures relate to January 25 this year when Minister Aisha Verrill announced we were well prepared for Omicron. Testing capacity had increased to 58,000 tests a day and could surge to more than 77,000, she said. But official information showed no one in the Minister's office checked the accuracy of the numbers. The figures were repeated over and over. We can do 60,000 tests a day. It infuriated the front line. Ever think about your front line health professionals before you start making ridiculous um, assumptions of what their capability is. The numbers that were being put out in public, it was misinformation and the lab workers knew that. So yeah, they were, quite, they were, very, they were very upset. Um, and, um, does that disappoint you? Yeah, it does. It makes my heart sink really because they worked so hard. The ministry's wrong assumptions led to a backlog of 32,000 tests. A review found there was inconsistency in planning, there was a disconnect between key groups. Ministers and the Director General were unprepared for the backlog, even though this was to some degree predictable. Increasing positivity rates were not fully appreciated by the ministry or not effectively communicated to decision makers. It's clear from the findings that we could and should have done better on uh, both estimating that capacity and communicating that nice and clearly. Lab representatives say the current mix of public and private lab services isn't working. We need one national laboratory service in New Zealand. Um, if we had had that, we wouldn't have had this problem with COVID capacity. The report made nine recommendations which the Ministry is working to implement, with those representing lab workers saying the message to the Ministry is look outside your four walls and listen to the front line. Michael Mora, New South.